Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Drizzle. Today we are going to learn how to connect to the MySQL using the Drizzle ORM. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically I'm going with the TypeScript. Okay. So let's go to the terminal and let's play around it. Okay. So open here we have the terminal. Let's open it. Okay. Drizzle. Let's make a directory with the MyExpress okay ts file okay next step we are going to go to the directory okay so let's finish after that initialize the npm with the help packet.json npm init y okay done next we have to install the express okay so install the express also next we go with the install the typescript okay and the types of the express so I think I need to sh uh, switch to the NVM use node 20. Okay. Now I'm going to paste this. What would be the next step? Then npx ts init with for the tsconfig.json file. Okay. Next we move with the make directory source.ts. Open the code base. Okay, in the source, what we require index.ts file. Okay. Index.ts and here we are going to just add the code and do the npm start. Okay. Paste this. Okay, done. Now in the packet.json file, we have to go with the npm start. Okay, so I think the packet.json file I have already pasted over there. Package.json file is there. Yeah, this is there. So I'm going to add with this one start npm package. Okay, so here we go with the start. So packet.json, I will add the script with this. Okay, start. So what I will do, I will go with npm start and the TS is configured successfully and running on the service. Okay, if I just open the link, you can see that hello from the TypeScript Express server. Now I'm going to use the Drizzle ORM to integrate in that TypeScript. So let's see how we are going to do that. So we have to go with this one in, uh, install this drizzle ORM MySQL2. So just insert install this one. Just control C paste this. Okay. This is done. After this, we go with you have to install the drizzle kit also for the migrations and all. done let's install this kit also after this we have to create a db folder and uh, create a file name that is db.ts so here we go with this one let's create a db folder in the source new folder and sorry we have to create a new folder this is db rename First, we have to create the db folder, then db.ts, right? In this new file that is db.ts, and here I'm going to paste this code for the connection part, okay? So, here we have the connection, okay? MySQL. So, we have to update the connection with this one, okay? So, you have to this is the connection pool where we have the host, user, database, and the password, okay? Then export this one, okay? Then we, I think export, we haven't added, I think export db should be there. Export db, okay. Next, we have to create the schema.ts file. Okay, so let's create this. Here in the db, we have to go with the schema.ts file and we have to add these lines of code. 
okay so add for creating the schema and we require like id email password created that and updated that right and the requirement of this one we have import from mysql table varchar timestamp everything which we required we can write it over import it from the mysql code okay next step is like we have to go and just create a drizzle config.ts file in the source directory so here we have the source and i'm going to create a file with this and i'm going to add this file over there okay the next one that i'm going to create the drizzle config.js here you can see that the schema it is in the source db schema.ts and if you have the multiple schema like the user schema and it, it's all in the schema directory then you have to make it only schema okay not the schema.ts okay next we have to create a drizzle config.json at the root file so that it will create the migrations accordingly. So let's create this one. So here we go with this one drizzle config.json and I'm going to just add the code there. Okay. Done. Let's move to the next step. Now we have to go with the this file. So I need I need to add the generate and the create table so basically i want to generate the sql tables migrations and i want to create the tables into the database tables also okay for that one i need to add this two lines into our packet.json so make sure you have to add this one okay so this is added next step let's move to the next step this is done and uh, we have the another one that is compiler option. So what I require in the TS config, I just replace with this code what I require. Okay. So just copy and paste this. And let's go and add this code over there in the TS config. Okay. So this is out directory is dist. So make sure you have to add all of this code over there. Okay. N this is done. What would be the next step would be generate and we have an index.ts file that we have to update. Okay. And I think the migration part is also there. So I need to add the migrator.ts also if it is there or not. Yeah, it's not there. Okay. So let me go and just create. First of all, let's do the migration. So generate. So currently there is no migrations in here. Here you can see there is a node modules and the source directory, right? So let's try to paste this code npm run generate will help you to create the schema. Okay, so users column here you can see, right? So schema is created here. You can see migrations and the schema is created in the in the db.ts. This configuration is not correct, I guess. So let me go and just revise these connections. So localhost php adminer php adminer and uh, here we have the root i guess root and the password would be admin one two three hash might be yes this is that one so i need to just change use uh, user is uh, root and the password is uh, admin and the database which i'm going to pick it up like uh, which one no my db so i'm going to use the my db right so let's use it Okay, database done. Now we have to in the migrations. I need to create a one file that is migrator.ts. Migrator.ts. Wherever you want to create, you can create migrator.ts. And here we need to put the code. So MySQL, I have already extract this. Extract here. And the MySQL in the migrations, we have a migrator.ts. Open with this one and just copy and paste this. Okay. In the migrator.ts file, you have to paste this code and change the credentials over there. So you have to migrate from the drizzle ORM MySQL to migrator, drizzle MySQL to and the path. So here we have established the connection localhost. User is root. Database is um, mydb. Whatever I need to check. That is mydb. Okay. So here we go with this one, my DP password. I need to put it over here for the run the migration so that it will create the table into that directory in that table. Okay. So migrator resolve migrations. So make sure the path is to be correct. Otherwise it will give you the error. So here you can see that we have a migration. So a migration is there, right? 
okay done migration done exit with if something went wrong it will give me the error that migration error okay so currently there is a no table in that my db there is only select user is there if i just drop this also you can just go with drop okay so there's no table over here right so let's try to run the next command for drizzle that is create tables which we have already mentioned in the packet.json so paste this code and just hit run and here we go with the migrations done if i just go and check this one in migrations are there users table is already created okay so that means connection is done migration is done now we have to test the connection that it is working or not okay so let's try to insert a record into the table which confirms that the we have successfully connecting to the mysql using the drizzle ORM, right so let's go to the index.ts file and update the code so here we have an index.ts file let's update the code okay so here we have this one code let me update this code with the another one that is where it is index.ts file yeah so let's update this code okay so here you can see that we have a db import then user schema then we have a get request here we are calling the run query so run query what they are doing db.insert in the users values would be email and the password and it will return in the console the data okay that's it we want to try to check that the is it connected or not let's save this and uh, run this one so here we have npm start will help you to run the ts file okay done if i just hit uh, here you can see that there is no records over there when i try to hit this url open the link and uh, here you can see the record is inserted right so that means we have successfully connected to the database with the MySQL using the Drizzle ORM, right? Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.